you know, stroke is like having a fire in the house, really, uh, is a similar analogy. Basically, the fundamental problem is you have a, a blocked artery in the brain. So the uh, brain tissue further downstream from that blockage is at risk of dying. So clearly, the earlier you remove the blockage, um, the better the outcome. And that has been proven time and time again. As a nation, we really have a benchmark in regards to door to needle time. And the reason why that has become such an issue is because we know the quicker we treat a stroke patient, the quicker the blockage can be dissolved, the quicker their recovery can begin. Every minute that we save in the patient can be is a day of disability for them. And that is absolutely huge. The door to needle time, the 45 minutes, a lot happens in that 45 minutes. The patient comes through the door. We have to determine that they actually have a problem that's related to their stroke, transfer them to the CT scanner, and a series of scans will be done uh, based on the scans, based on the clinical examination. Then we formulate a plan. And for stroke, it would be administration of the clot busting medication. Not one part of this process actually works without each member performing their role. And this is something that we've managed to perfect. That comes down to the ward clerk and the admissions people right at the start, the triage person absolutely making sure they're triaged appropriately, getting through to the CT and dealing with CT people. Throughout all of that, the stroke team completing their assessments and performing the tasks that are required. There is this worldwide movement now, basically we're trying to understand that we have an effective treatment uh, how can we actually make sure that the maximum number of patients can receive this effective treatment? Box Hill Hospital really has managed to get the right people in the right room. I think that that was really a key point. So having all the people who have the same investment at really good patient outcomes. We're the fastest in the country by five to 15 minutes. And we know that every time we get that right, that patient has the best chance of surviving without disability.